In this video, we're going to talk about the polar coordinate system and how you can convert from polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates. So to start off, the polar coordinate system begins with a pole or a reference point, and it has a polar axis or a reference direction, which is a line extending away from the pole that we just defined. If we plot a point on this coordinate system, that point is going to be defined by r, which is its radial distance away from the pole, and theta, which is its polar angle, or the angle away from the reference direction. I'm going to hide these things for now, and we're going to plot a point here. So now we have point 13, comma 22.6 degrees, and we can fairly easily see how this point can be um, converted to Cartesian coordinates. If we turn these axes into x and y axes, then the point is going to be some distance x and some distance y away from the pole or the origin in Cartesian coordinates. The cool thing about this is that when we plot both of these coordinate systems at the same time, they form a triangle, which we can pop out. And then we can solve for x and y using r and theta. So what I've done here is I've just used our trig ratios, cosine and sine, and I've plugged in the values that we know. Um, what it turns out is that x is equal to r cosine theta, and y is equal to r sine theta. So save these over here. We're going to hide this. Get rid of these. So now we have these two formulas for x and y given polar coordinates. And if we plot a unit circle, we can verify that these formulas make sense. So if you remember, the unit circle is a circle with a radius of 1. And the point where the line coming from the origin intersects the outside of the circle, that has an xy coordinate of cosine theta sine theta. So let's take this r equals 1 and plug it into these formulas. And we can see that these r's go away, and we are left with what we would expect. x equals cosine theta, y equals sine theta. Okay, so now that we know all of this, we can run through a couple practice problems here. So in this case, I guess I forgot my parentheses here, um, we have point 13, 22.6 degrees in polar coordinates, and we want to convert it to Cartesian coordinates. So we're going to start with these formulas here. And we're going to have x is equal to, so let's label these. This is r and this is theta. So x is equal to 13 cosine of 22.6 degrees. And if we plug this into a calculator, we get 12. And then y is equal to 13 times the sine of 22.6 degrees. And if we plug this into a calculator, we get 5. So the Cartesian coordinates of this polar point is 12 comma 5. Now let's clean this up and let's look at another problem. All right, so now we have write 3 comma pi over 2 as rectangular coordinates. So Cartesian coordinates, rectangular coordinates, um, both of those terms can be used to refer to the same thing. So now what we want to do is we want to use our formulas again, x equals r cosine theta. This is r, this is theta. So we're going to say 3 times the cosine of pi over 2. We know that cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so this whole x coordinate is 0. And we're going to do for y, r, or y equals r sine of theta equals 3 sine of pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 or sine of 90 degrees equals 1. So this is going to be 3, 3 times 1. And so our Cartesian coordinates for this polar point is 0, 3. 